Hey guys, T Rev here. Um, Astronomy had a bulletin earlier just um, looking for solutions for having a image kind of shown through another image similar to as you see in the middle of their uh, one of their awesome country map reveal quizzes here. Uh, or also you can see this kind of idea on this quiz here k things and k letters where you can see an image through the outline from another image so astronomy was looking for some other ways to do this uh, there might be better ways than the way i'm about to show but uh, the way i've made images like this is simply just using microsoft word and microsoft paint so what i do using the first example uh, astronomy wanted to make uh, the Vanuatu, Vanuatu flag show up behind the country outline of Vanuatu. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded a Vanuatu flag and an image of Vanuatu. So I'm going to Im import uh, the Vanuatu flag first onto my Word document. And what I'm going to do is right click and go wrap text and go behind text. What this is going to do is this is going to put that image on a layer behind the, the country outline image. So I'm just going to leave this here for now, unhighlight it. And now that I have it uh, set behind, the next image should be able to land right on top. So now I'm going to bring in my picture that I've already downloaded from from the Google of the country outline of Vanuatu and my mouse is not working right now there we go so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to right click this one and say wrap text wrap, wrap text in front of text and we can see now that we've got all the islands of Vanuatu here. What I'm going to do is while this image is selected, you can see at the top here I'm under picture format. I'm going to go up to the top left corner to this button that says remove background. I'm going to click that and it makes the whole image show up as magenta. But I want to keep all of the outside. So I'm going to try to just trace around the outside of this because I want all this part to hide most of the flag. Sometimes it takes a bit of fiddling around drawing this. There we go. Okay. So now I've got, oops, the whole image is opaque right now, which is fine. But what I'm gonna do now is go mark areas to remove, select that. And I'm just gonna kind of click inside each island and that should color in the inside of each island. It'll make it magenta. So the inside of these islands are all gonna just be transparent after this. Okay, so all just the islands are the parts that are marked with areas to remove. So now I'm going to go back up here and go keep changes. And boom, those parts are now transparent. And now I can shift this image around on top. And the portions of the flag should show up through the, where those islands are. So let's say if I want to shrink this down so that all the islands have some of the flag behind them and I can move it around to where I see fit so this is where I'm going to try to save it so there's two options here one of them is I can keep this top image highlighted and I can go control and click the bottom image as well and then go right click group and then group. Now this is one image. And I can now go right click again, 
save as picture. Let's go to my desktop and call it picture one. And I now have that as a picture. Of course, the other option I could have done is just press my print screen button to save that. Go to my Microsoft Paint and uh, paste it there. But now I'm just going to I'll bring up the image. So here's what it looks like on Word. Or on, sorry, on Paint. I probably could do this on Word too, but I just prefer Paint for this. And I'll just use my Select tool here to crop the image to just include the part I want to use. Press Crop. And now I have this image here. And of course, you can size it to the side you want. So if I wanted to make this a perfect square that was, say, 400 pixels by 400 pixels, I'd click Resize, go to Pixels, I'd go, or sorry, let's go this one here, Vertical, 400. This will make it 400 by 422. And then I can just shift, shift this over a little bit until I get to 400. And there, now I have a 400 by 400 image with the Vanuatu country outline with the flag in behind. So I would then just save this again and upload this to my Imgur account. And we're finished. Anyway, if you have any questions, I'm happy to try to clarify anything. Um, hope, hope this is useful for somebody. And uh, yeah, that's about it. T-Rev out.